Dodge Control, we're tracking a fast-moving primary. National, you got a primary target heading for P-56 to the west, 10 west, fast-moving. Let's see your place. Yeah, I'm yeah, stop all the parkers. See what stop all yeah, it went in the Pentagon. When it got, looks like it went in the Pentagon. Well, we got planes down. We got planes down. You're aware of the explosion? Yes, we're aware of the explosion. We heard that it was a plane down. Initially, I didn't know where the plane had hit. It wasn't until much later that we discovered that it was my office. Uh, it was very um, shocking. This was a guy that sat right next to my desk. And there's a little bit of survivor's grief because you realize that the people that you just seen uh, the day before are now dead. Uh, Sergeant First Class Jose Calderon. His daughter woke up at 3.30 and said, Dad, something bad's going to happen today. Don't go to work today. And so he went and he was killed. There was a young lady that was a specialist. Uh, and she was looking out the window talking to her boyfriend on the phone. And she said, oh my God, there's a plane coming. And then the phone went dead. I just remember their faces. I remember their families. I remember most things about them. I mean, I guess that's one of those things that's kind of like, where were you on 9-11? I remember like it was yesterday. I think it's important for America never to forget 9-11 because if we forget or get complacent, it could happen again to us.